Hey, my name is Batty. I'm one of the assistant coaches here on Team HO Fit. Um, if you haven't already, I would like for you to first go back and watch the Macros 101 doc. Um, this doc make, might make a lot more sense um, after you've watched that one. So now that you've revisited this, or if you've already watched Macros 101, it's time to introduce you to your new best friend, MyFitnessPal. Um, so at Team HO Fit, we prefer to use the app MyFitnessPal for food tracking. It's been around the longest, and it has the most extensive list of food items that have both been added um, by people just like us and also the largest restaurant database. So first, you're going to download the app. It's compatible with both iOS and Android. It looks like this. Um, you can either choose the free version of the app or the paid version. Um, we don't require the paid version, but it's recommended. It makes things a lot easier on you. Um, you'll see the instructional video below as to why there's benefits to the pre premium side. Um, but again, totally not required um, or necessary in order to use the app. So once it's been downloaded, it's going to prompt you through profile setup. Based on what the stats give you in the app, it's going to um, auto-calculate your macros. They are not the macros you're going to be using. Disregard them completely. Um, your coach is going to give you custom macros based on multiple factors that the app does not take into account. Um, things like dieting history and training. Um, a lot of those factors were mentioned in the Macros 101 video. So hopefully you have fully understood this by now. Um, for instructions on setting your custom macros, um, you'll just click right here, watch this quick video, um, and it goes through all of that for you. Next, you're going to follow um, the instructions that were sent to you in the HO Fit app by your coach. Um, they were sent via the messenger um, to sync your MyFitnessPal and the HO Fit app. It's very simple. Um, emphasis on you are going to want to be sure your diary settings within MyFitnessPal are set to public. If they're not public, your coach will have visibility to the amount of food that you're eating, but not the specific foods. And that's very valuable information um, for both your coach and for you so that you can get feedback um, and tangible feedback based on the current foods that you're already logging. So once you've set your macros and calories on what your coach has assigned for you, um, you can utilize the app to start tracking your meals. Um, for a quick tutorial on searching and adding foods in the MyFitnessPal database, you're just going to click this link that walks you through all of that. Um, you may notice an item that you want to log is in a metric that you don't use. So for example, grams when your um, food scale is in ounces or that might not be conducive to your serving size for whatever reason. So all metrics can be changed for each food item based on your preference. Um, and then if you click here, there's a quick video on how to change your um, measurement metric. One very important note is not to eat back your exercise calories. Um, if you have a smartwatch connected to MyFitnessPal, it might account for calories burned during exercise. Um, we don't want this for a lot of reasons. For number one, these devices are really inaccurate when it comes to energy expenditure. And um, your custom macros have already been calculated for you. And those custom macros have taken into account um, your movement and intentional exercise. So this video tutorial right here will show you how to turn that feature off. Um, MyFitnessPal has tons of features to really help you customize the app and how you like it. Um, one feature is its customizable meal names. Your coach may actually want you to change your meal names based on your custom program and opt in to optimize that meal timings. For example, like that pre and post workout meal. So you'll follow this instruction here on how to uh, customize your meal names based on you and or your coach's preference. Um, last but not least, MyFitnessPal has recently turned on tracking net carbs as opposed to just total carbs. Net carbs are your total carbs minus your fiber. Um, we want to look at your carbs in aggregate. So make sure that you turn off that feature in your settings. Um, hitting your nutrition goals. So while everyone's nutrition goals are unique to them, the approach to successful macro tracking is pretty universal to all of our clients. And here's a few tips for you to help stay on target to hit your macro goals daily. Um, check your numbers often. If you click this link right here, there's a few ways for you to view your remaining daily macros. Um, this is really beneficial at the end of the day so you know which snacks or foods you might want to incorporate in your nightcap. Prioritize protein. So having protein with every meal and snack um, really helps you to hit that daily goal. 
Um, protein is by far the most important macro and it really helps you stay satiated. Um, stick to the basics, mostly. The majority of your meals should be made up of food that you can categorize into three macros. That is your protein, your carbs, and your fats. For example, chicken is a protein source. Rice, pasta, that's a carb source. Foods like pizza, mac and cheese, casseroles, it's kind of a mix of it all. They got a ton going on, um, and therefore it becomes really hard to track those accurately. Highly processed foods also tend to be unrecognizable with macros. So with that being said, we really want you to stick to the 80-20 rule. So 80% of your foods coming from whole food sources that you can identify belonging to a macro group and 20% of those fun foods like casseroles, pizza, and mac and cheese. Um, number four, plan ahead, right? Have a general blueprint mapped out for the day of eating and log ahead when you can. I like to put my fun foods um, that I know I'm going to be having automatically in my logs for the day and then kind of reverse or re engineer around that. Or, you know, when I know what I'm making for dinner, I log it early so I can structure my day around that accordingly. Um, this gives you the freedom of flexibility um, when you want it, but it also takes away the stress of managing your macros at the end of the day when you've already consumed those things and you're either way under in a certain group or worse yet, way over. Um, and last but not least, be patient, right? If you're new to tracking, it can feel overwhelming and it can feel time consuming, but it gets it gets easier with practice. Um, my fitness pal has a great memory. It remembers the foods that you're eating. So if you're consistently eating some staple food items, um, my fitness pal will actually save those in your recent foods. So when you go to track the following day or in, in subsequent weeks, um, it makes it a lot easier just to track, just to press one button and track the same food. Um, similarly, you know, if you, I believe it's on the premium version but you can actually copy meals and copy foods from previous days. So that kind of um, makes it easier if you're eating consistently um, the same meals or the same types of foods. If you have any questions about MyFitnessPal, all of our coaches here are well-versed in the app. Please do reach out to them. We are always here to help. Thanks so much.